Hello! Thanks for tuning in to My Andy Space Creations. Today we'll be making a custom epoxy resin table. After hitting it with some primer, I'm taking some 220 grit sandpaper to prep the table for paint. And here's the design I'm going with for this table. Next I'm marking the table to draw out my grid. I decided to go with the grid technique for this project because I don't have a projector and a grid is great for transferring small designs to larger canvases. And it's time to sketch. Now that the sketch is all finished, I'm mixing together some acrylic paint for the background. I'm not a pro in mixing colors, but I feel like I match the background color pretty well to the original design. And here we go! I went with a larger brush for the majority of the background, but as you can see I did have to go in with a smaller brush for the intricate details. Now I'm just filling in the rest of the shapes with the different colors. I'm using various different paints for this project, but by far my favorite is the Golden Fluid Acrylics. These paints are super opaque and lay down nicely on different surfaces. I would highly recommend them for anyone whether you're just starting out or have been painting for years. Now for the most satisfying portion of the project, the line work. This is my first time outlining with just a brush, so I was a little nervous starting out, but I quickly learned that as long as you take your time and don't rush, the outlines should turn out great. Now that the artwork is complete, I'm masking off the edges with frog tape to start on the black edges. This tape in my opinion is the best for getting the cleanest edges on your artwork. Now to prepare for the epoxy. I'm using a brand called Envirotex Light. It's a super simple two-part resin for a nice high gloss finish. First you measure out your epoxy. Then measure out your hardener. And 
and mix. After pouring the epoxy, I hit it with a blowtorch to pop all of the trapped air bubbles. Then I let it sit for a few days to cure. Once it was cured, all that's left to do is sand off the bottom and add the legs. Now for the final review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and maybe get inspired to make your own custom table. Have a great day, and remember to keep it creative.